एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू टीच मी क्लाउड यूट्यूब चैनल एज वी नो दैट वी आर वर्किंग ओवर आई जी वन जीरो फोर कॉन्टेंट बेस्ड वीडियो सीरीज सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिड द पार्ट ऑफ हाउ वी कैन कॉन्फिगर पब्लिक डी एन एस ओवर आई जी पोर्टल एंड इन दिस वीडियो यू कैन से दैट दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट टू कॉन्फिगर एंड मैनेज द डी एन एस ओवर आई जी पोर्टल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम प्लानिंग टू डिस्क्राइब यू द स्टेप हाउ यू कैन मैनेज योर प्राइवेट डी एन एस विद द हेल्प ऑफ एज पोर्टल so uh, i'm just going to show you directly by using my azure portal so before you start the practical if you new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time so you can subscribe my channel for more update related to the cloud technology so uh, first of all try to understand about the concept of a private dns so guys as we discussed in our previous video we have a two different way to configure our dns service so basically the use of dns you can say that the with the help of dns you can resolve the name means it is responsible to convert the name into the ip as well as it convert the ip name ip to the name so basically dns service is used to perform the task of name resolution try to understand about the concept of public dns and private dns so public dns means you are planning to you you, you can purchase the public dns from a, a multiple domain provider like as a godaddy.com for example you are planning to you are planning to host your website or application so what you need to do you need to purchase a public domain so you need to coordinate with godaddy.com namecheap or hostgator and just decide a name and purchase if your domain is available on uh, a provider uh, you will be get your domain detail from godaddy.com but if we talking about the private so private uh, as for the name private means you can decide any name and configure your own dns just like uh, in case of active directory whenever you try to install active directory server on your server operating system what you need to do you need to decide the name of your dns you need to decide the name of your net bios names so you can also say that uh, with the help of private dns you can resolve the name of your clients machines those clients machines are connected in your organization so in this video i'm going to show you the proper step how you can configure um, uh, private dns so to configure the private dns we have a various way but i'm going to show you uh, 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 the step to configure private dns with the help of uh, server 2012 virtual machine so what you need to do first of all you need to create a one virtual machine so i created a one vm with the one core of cpu and two gig of ram and uh, this is the server 2012 r2 what i'm going to do just connect the rdp of this particular machine so just open the rdp and connect your what you must think that you created so what i'm planning i'm planning to install the active directory for private dns so you need to connect your virtual machine but you need to perform some task in the property of our vm so you need to open the virtual machine's property go to the network part click on networking and uh, in the networking we have a various option but you need to click on the interface network interface click on the network interface and here we have a option of dns servers right so what you need to do just confirm your private ip address this is our private ip address 10.0.1.4 you need to copy the private ip address click on dns servers we have a two different way to configure dns this is the private dns activity inherit from virtual network and another is custom so what you need to do you need to click on the custom and type the ip address of your virtual machine where you want to install active directory so this is the private ip address of our vm 10.0.1.4 you need to click on save this is the first step to uh, configure private ip uh, private dns in our server 2012 virtual machine okay it's updating it will take one or two minute time and then you need to open the rdp of your virtual machine and open the network properties ncpa.cpl and this is the network ethernet card go to the property of this ethernet card select uh, uh 
IPv4 and no need to change the IP address setting you just need to change the DNS setting only so we have only single server environment so you need to type the IP address of your private that provided by the Azure default network 10.0.1.4 you need to configure it in preferred DNS server click OK and click OK again once you configure your uh, private uh, IP address manually it will be disconnect from the RDP so what you need to do you need to open the virtual machines properties again and just go to the property and we have a one option redeploy just click on the redeploy icon click redeploy again first of all you need to configure the DNS then configure the manual IP in your virtual machine and then redeploy once redeploy completed we will take the RTP of same virtual machine and then we'll install our DNS services then we'll install our active active and DNS services so redeploy will take up to three to four minutes so you need to wait up to five minutes and then we'll connect our virtual machine again our virtual machine redeployed successfully I'm going to connect our VM again copy the public IP address and uh, try to connect by using your uh, by using your tool now please continue fine we successfully connected our RDP of virtual machine and now I'm going to install server I am going to install active directory for private DNS setting so I hope you all of you know about the step how you can install and configure active directory so just click add and rule uh, add uh, role and features which is available on server manager which add click next next again again you need to click next and uh, select ADDS this is the active directory domain services select the active directory domain services click add feature next next and again install this is the first step to configure and install active directory so once you install the role of active directory ADDS we need to promote it we need to um, uh, uh, configure and promote it by choosing any name by choosing any uh, private DNS name means so now we need to wait up to one or two minutes Okay. Now we successfully installed the role of ADDS. Now you need to click on the promote this server to a domain controller. Whenever we click here, it gives you three different options. So what you need to do, you need to click on the last option, add a new forest because you are planning to create your own private DNS environment. So just decide the any name, like I'm going to proceed with name of India.com. So India.com is our DNS, pri private DNS. Click next. And you need to provide the password of ESRM. It's a basically uh, directory service restored mode. So you can choose any password. again you need to click next next and it will be verify your uh, domain name now ne click next no need to do anything just click next next and install finally you need to click on in install 
once active directory installed successfully you are able to get uh, information of your private dns in uh, the property of active directory so this is the method this is the way to install and configure private dns just try to understand how you can check how you can uh, manage the private dns in environment so i'm going to design a one page Okay, so we successfully installed one domain with name of india.com. For example, this is uh, our domain that we created with name of india.com and uh, we need to connect multiple clients. You know that you need to install Windows 7 or Windows 10, Windows 8 operating system as a client. is the domain that you install with name of india.com and these all are the client operating system so what you need to do you just need to connect your DNS with all the clients and by using the DNS name by using the DNS you can resolve the name means you can convert your uh, client machine IP address to the name and name to the IP address both vice versa for example the IP address of your client machine is 10.0.0.1.5 and the PC name is uh, local PC 1 so after configuring the domain in environment, you are able to connect with your 10.0.1.5 as well as you can also connect your uh, share or connect with the local PC1 uh, as well. So I need to check, I think uh, uh, we successfully install our uh, Active Directory on uh, uh, Azure VM. So that's why it's disconnected RDP because once you install the Active Directory, it will restart your system. So now it will take one or two, two minute more to reconnect it. So this is the concept of uh, to manage the private DNS over Azure. So guys, I hope you all of you understand about the concept how you can configure private DNS over Azure portal. So please let me know if you have any doubt or question and also try to configure by self because if you want to be a cloud architect, definitely you need to uh, give much time over Azure portal and it's a fully based on the 100% practical. So you need to design your own setup as well. Now I'm going to check our system again, RDP again because our virtual machines restarted after install it um, the active directory services Let's click connect continue now it's uh, connecting So once you install the Active Directory services on your virtual machine, definitely it becomes slow in compare of without uh, Active Directory. Now we successfully connected our uh, uh, virtual machine's RDP. Now I'm going to click on the tools and uh, to verify our Active Directory is installed successfully or not. Click on Active Directory Users and Computers and it gives you the information you successfully configure your domain DNS with name of India.com.
Now what you need to do is just create a user and log in with your client machine and by using the India.com you can resolve the name of your client system. So guys I hope you all of you understand about the procedure to configure private DNS over Azure portal. Although if you have any doubt or question please let me know and drop your comment in comment box and we will definitely try to reach you if you have any question or doubt. Thank you guys. Take care and bye bye. We will meet soon with another content of AG104.